What I'd like to do is introduce everyone to color commentator for the Arizona Diamondbacks, Bob Brenly, seen here. Marcus Stroman, pitcher for the New York Mets, was the subject of Brenly's ire. You see, Stroman wore a do-rag. Hi, I'm Bob Brenly. For someone like Bob here, apparently that was just too much to go along with. Here's the audio from the June 1st game. Pretty sure that's the same do-rag that Tom Seaver used to wear when he pitched for the Mets. Got the 41 patch on his sleeve. The play-by-play -play announcer ignores Brenly. For the record, if unaware, this is Hall of Fame pitcher Tom Seaver. Stroman, for his part, has tweeted nothing but positivity through it all, including this onward and upward through all adversity and racist undertones. The climb continues through all. However, the backlash that ensued should not be tolerated. Stroman gave us a sample of the unwarranted commentary from racists in America like Kevin Sawyer. Sawyer, in his IG bio, claims to be in the United States Department of Defense, if true, beyond troubling. So look, the thing is Bob Brenly responded with a usual cut and dry apology that we have seen all too often when white folks in positions of power screw the F up but are given an incredibly long leash. Quote, I have had several conversations with the D-backs and we agree that seeking sensitivity training is an important step so that I can continue to learn from my mistakes in order to be better in the future but like dude you haven't learned from your past mistakes take arguably the face or co-face of the league sans mike trout fernando tatis jr he's 22 he's from the dr plays for the padres you know what robert bob brenly said of this rising star in the game he loves when talking about the padres shortstop brenly uttered it might be easier to run the bases if he didn't have that bike chain around his neck weighing him down doesn't it y'all wonder why the game isn't growing it's because you got old turds like bob brenly weighing down the product Brenly, after his playing and managerial career came to a close, was an announcer with my hometown Chicago Cubs. Aramis Ramirez played for the team from 2003 to 2011. He was a beast for the Cubbies. It felt weird because every time he attacked somebody, it was a Latin player for some reason, Ramirez said of his time in Chicago. It wasn't just like he was criticizing him, said Ramirez's agent Paul Kinzer. It was like it was a personal attack. He had his own vendetta. Ramirez feels Brenly's harsh criticism cannot be separated from the color of his skin. He went after Starlin Castro pretty hard, Giovanni Soto pretty hard, Ramirez said. He said he could not recall Brenly criticizing any white players. Brenly called out a teammate of Tatis Jr., that being Manny Machado, who laid his bat down by Arizona catcher John Ryan Murphy in foul territory, which absolutely set off the Diamondbacks' broadcaster Steve Berthume and Bob Brenly. Brenly called Machado Bush League. At this point, Brenly's antagonism seems like a feature rather than a bug. He's been in the booth with Arizona for nearly a decade, and they've shown no signs of moving on from him. At this point, maybe a change will be better for all parties, wrote Awful Announcing. Still, like Ramirez, Stroman is not backing down. He has been an outspoken advocate for equality. He's a Duke grad and launched foundations to help the cause. After Brenly's remarks, Stroman retweeted several tweets from Twitter users who called out Brenly for racism. Stroman replied to one tweet saying, the media will turn this against me somehow if he publicly criticizes Brenly, who is white. Labeling them undertones is probably too fair for Stroman. It's just a subheading of that's not my America with that's not the baseball I remember tone that Brenly is setting here. Stroman doesn't conform to the vision Brenly has for the game, and that vision is distinctly mayonnaise slathered. It's a pining for the way things used to be, a time Brenly is more comfortable with, and it's a time that we seemingly have to keep repeating at ear-splitting volume that passed long ago. Given Brenly's history, Aramis Ramirez said he feels like sensitivity or awareness training isn't the appropriate action for the D-backs to take. Quote, he should be fired right now. It's just the timing. I don't think he deserves a second chance. I think he already had it, Ramirez said.